band. Yeah, Sam, it is chilly out there and a cold wind is blowing, making it feel even colder. Speaking of some of that snow, a live look at the Grove City College weather camera shows some of those uh, light snow showers and flurries pushing through that area. Now notice, at least in this location, the grass is still green. That is not the case for northern parts of our viewing area, which have accumulating snow on the ground in northern Trumbull and northern Mercer counties. Uh, but the wind is everywhere and so are the cold temperatures uh, right now. It feels like it or right now the temperature is in the upper teens to around 20 degrees. It's 20 at the airport, 19 in Columbiana right now and 18 all the way down there in Lisbon. So cold air, wind continuing to blow between 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the west, gust 20 to 25. And all of that combines making it feel like the single digits out there, three in Newcastle, three in Grove City, five in Youngstown. So if you are outside, make sure you bundle up because those cold temperatures continuing. That lake effect snowband coming off of Lake Erie continues to bring accumulating snowfall, especially to northern uh, Trumbull and northern Mercer counties. Got a report of around two inches in the Kinsman Township and some accumulating snow also in the Vernon Township. Everywhere else, partly cloudy skies. Some light snow flurries uh, as well have been seen across other parts of the valley. Now, thankfully, this lake effect snowband will start to shut off here in the late morning hours to the early afternoon. Still going to see some clouds. Temperatures in the upper 20s to around 30. Then the clouds break up by the afternoon. We'll see high temperatures in the low to mid 30s. And then temperatures once again tonight, thanks to mostly clear conditions, will drop down pretty cold. So today's forecast high of 35. Chance of snow showers early, especially up there in the snow belt. Good chance of snow showers up there. Then partly cloudy afterwards as we head into the afternoon. Highs in the low to mid 30s. Now, as we head into the first part of the work week, of course, tomorrow is the first day of spring and we will see warming conditions across the valley. High temperatures right around 50 and mostly sunny skies, and that will continue into the day on Tuesday. Tuesday will be even warmer with highs in the mid 50s. You can see that on the seven day outlook 56 Tuesday. Then rain showers come in here on Wednesday. Rain becomes especially likely Wednesday night and lasts through Friday. Actually, you could see over an inch of rainfall in many locations as we end the work week, but at least those temperatures look to stay mild as we head uh, throughout the first week of